Aloha and welcome to Hawaiian Lomi Lomi Massage Level 2. In this video, we will be adding specific movements to what you have already learned in Level 1. These are deeper movements that are used in synchronicity with basic Hawaiian Lomi Lomi Massage. There will be no review of Lomi Lomi 1, so please do not use the technique shown here unless you are proficient in the first level. My oldest son Matthew will be demonstrating each movement and it brings me deep joy to pass down this healing art to the next generation in the traditional Hawaiian way. Matthew was born on the island of Maui and was very young when I apprenticed with my teacher Auntie Margaret. We lived in Kamuela on the big island of Hawaii and I was pregnant with my second son Jesse. My husband Michael would drive me back and forth to Auntie's house in Captain Cook and Matthew would always accompany us. He would watch as I learned from my teacher directly, and I now know how fortunate I was to learn from the master before there was a formal school. Hands-on learning with a certified teacher is still the only way to learn Lomi Lomi correctly. Each Lomi Lomi teacher has their own style due to their family's tradition, yet there are similarities in the strokes and in the intention. We find that living and teaching mainly in California requires a different way of presenting workshops, as most people are not able to apprentice for weeks and months at a time. Therefore, we teach in three levels and allow the students time between each class to become proficient in that level before moving on to the next one. We have also learned to teach with a face cradle and adapt Lomi Lomi to that, as clients here expect one and Auntie Margaret taught without a face cradle originally. The videos for each level are learning tools to help the student remember what they learned in the workshop. They are not designed to take the place of a certified teacher. As the student learns all of the movements in each workshop, they put them together in a single style that becomes uniquely their own. Not every movement is to be used in every massage session. As the connection to the high self grows stronger, the Lomi Lomi practitioner intuitively knows what the client's needs are and shares the appropriate movements with them at the appropriate time. Lomi Lomi is a conscious massage where the loving intention of the practitioner is of utmost importance. It is a living massage, a dance that changes each time as we move and breathe in flow with spirit as our guide. It is the constant awareness of the divine spirit using our hearts and hands to touch others physically, emotionally, mentally and spiritually that makes Lomi Lomi truly unique. Hi, this is Matthew. I'm tomorrow's oldest son. Um, I want to thank my mom for letting me do this with her and for her to pass this on through our ohana. It's a blessing that we have been given this gift from Auntie Margaret. Uh, I remember a long time ago when I was a little kid and watching my mom do this ever since I was pretty much born. And uh, it's been really awesome to see through the years how it's progressed and turned into something like this that we can pass on to people to watch all around the world. Um, in this video, I'm showing you some of the level two techniques that my mom has given to me and given to all of you out there. And um, all I can really say from what I've learned from my mother over the years is just seeing the aloha and uh, the love in everyone that you uh, come in contact with. And just to take that and learn from each person that you're with and give them a gift of yourself and also receive what they give to you. It's uh, always gonna be a blessing no matter who you come in contact with as long as you go into it with your true aloha. And um, being Hawaiian, being born on the island of Maui, it's just been a blessing my whole life to be able to give this wonderful technique of Lomi Lomi around to everybody that we come in contact with. And it um, doesn't matter if you're a true Hawaiian or Hawaiian at heart, it's all a blessing that we can share this uh, throughout the world and let the aloha go through everywhere we come in contact with. So thank you, enjoy the video. Aloha nui loa. And mahalo. Lomi Lomi Massage has begun with a prayer and a connection with Divine Spirit, asking that our session be blessed in every possible way for the highest good of ourselves and for our client on the table. So let us begin now on the left side of the back 
It is assumed that you've warmed up the muscles of the back with the strokes you've learned in level one. Therefore, you will add these movements just after the last of the forearm strokes, as Matthew is demonstrating. Remember, the muscles must be relaxed in order to receive the benefit of the deeper movements. Now, ask the client to inhale, and on their exhalation, use a medium strength elbow pressure, starting just above the sacrum. Continue up the back about one inch apart, next to and never on the spine, asking the client to continue the breathing pattern you have initiated. When you reach the scapula, pivot your elbow and continue up and around the top of the shoulder. Complete this series of movements with three soothing forearm strokes, as Matt is demonstrating. Remember to use the ulna flesh of the forearm and not the bone. Now, place the client's arm off the side of the table and lomi lomi the scapula with your thumbs, followed by palm friction. Do this three times. Proceed down the back of the arm with Lomi Lomi thumb strokes, pushing up while moving down, and taking care not to pinch under the arm with your fingers. When you reach the crease by the elbow, grasp the wrist with your left hand and use your right thumb to apply pressure at the point Matt is demonstrating. Do this three times while moving the arm at the same time in a back and forth motion. Continue to Lomi Lomi down the forearm to the wrist, and upon completion, hold the arm near their elbow with your left hand in order to use your right palm to stroke into the teres minor three times. Follow this with friction. Notice these strokes are short and precise, and each series of palm strokes and friction may be done up to three times. Now move down to the teres major, duplicating the previous movements. Gently lay the arm off the front of the table and do the three side hugs as learned in Lomi Lomi 1. Move to the hip and do three side hugs again. Upon completion, bring the arm up and tap the face cradle three times. Now do three gentle arm pulls. Move the arm by vibrating it down to the side of the table instead of moving it all the way down as you did in Lomi Lomi Level 1. Use thumb strokes and Lomi Lomi up the back of the arm, starting just above the elbow. Now hold the arm with your left hand and use your ulna flesh as you stroke up with your forearm all the way into and around the teres and back down in a flowing motion three times. Now use your forearm and do pressure points 
up the same area and then use a flowing stroke to return and begin again. This set of movements is done three times. Complete the Terry's work by asking the client to inhale and press in to each of the Terry's muscles with the flat part of your elbow three times. Follow this with hacking and soothing. Now place the arm on the table next to the client and proceed with all of the movements you've learned in level one for the back of the arm, the palm, and the fingers. After soothing the hand, place it in the center of the low back. If the client is unable to do this, place a small pillow under the arm to elevate it and proceed as follows. Starting at the top of the shoulder while standing at the client's side, Use your fingertips to pull down on the muscle underneath the scapula. Next, use your outside hand to lift up and move the front of the shoulder in a push-pull motion with your other hand as Matt is demonstrating. Continue holding the shoulder and move your other hand to the elbow in order to rotate the shoulder as shown three times clockwise and three times in a counterclockwise direction. Now move to the head of the client and hold their hand on their back while you use ulna flesh strokes to soothe and warm up the area around the scapula. Prepare this for the deep work that is to follow. Starting at the top of the shoulder, do elbow pressure points as the client exhales. This is a fairly deep set of movements designed to release pain and tension in this area, and these movements should be used with caution and only with the client's consent. If done with love and right intention, this deep work will bring wonderful release and relaxation of the muscles in this area. Complete this with three soothing and loving forearm strokes. Now continue with the strokes learned in Lomi Lomi Level 1 to reconnect the body. Finish with the double forearm Lomi Lomi strokes, making this unique and making this your own dance.
Hover with the sheet and gently rock the body before moving to the hip. Now standing next to the side of the client, massage the gluteus muscles on top of the sheet using a kneading motion as learned in level one. Use your palm and lightly press on the three points of the gluteus. All of the level one movements must be done prior to any work with the elbow, especially in this area. Now ask the client to take a deep breath and use elbow pressure on the points Matt is demonstrating. These movements are designed to go under the ilium and deep into the gluteus muscles to relieve sciatica and low back pain. Follow with Tapotement. Now continue down and up the leg with the forearm presses. These elbow presses are done slowly at first with the client's breath. They are always completed by rocking the leg. The same movement is then done very quickly on one out breath of the client and immediately using a rocking motion on the leg. Please be careful to stay away from the back of the knee and stop the presses at least three inches away from it. Now uncover the leg and complete the entire leg and foot massage from level one.